Hello everyone and welcome to the program. What an evening it is in the politics of Nigeria. This is Politics Today live on Channel Television from Channel Television's office here in the nation's capital, Abuja. I'm Sean Kimbale. Well, bringing you some of the major discussions and issues in the political landscape in Nigeria this evening. Let's get started, everyone. Let's begin with one of the freshest stories in the land coming from the courtroom earlier today. And some of the breaking news that we are following for you. The lead judge in the presidential elections petitions tribunal panel, Justice Bukotua, has stepped aside and recused herself from the duties of involving in the case. The lead ruling, which was read by Justice Peter Ege, says enough materials have not been put before the court to show that she will be biased in the hearing and decisions in the petition. But the fact that she is married to a senator elect and the mother of two a governorship candidate will not for, uh, force any uh, room for bias in the case and that our relationship is not capable of prejudicing the case. He, co he concluded that the petitioners have not satisfied the requirements for the president of the tribunal to recuse herself. On our part, Justice Zaina Bukachua said she will recuse herself for personal reasons, but she agrees with the judgment, but had to insist that the matter be heard by the full court so that in the future another female judge will not face the same thing she faced. It is a unanimous judgment. However, for personal reasons, Justice Zaina Bukuchua has recused herself. Justice Bukuchua then took a last bow as a chairman of the tri presidential elections tribunal. Well, from one courtroom to another, let's tell you about this one. Uh, the, some of the scenario playing out in the pursuit of Honorable Femi Bajabia Mela of becoming the Speaker of the House of Representatives in the 9th National Assembly. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has been asked to bar Mr. Femi Bajabia Mela from cont contesting the position on the grounds of his conviction, alleged conviction, by a United States of America Supreme Court for alleged fraud. The court was specifically asked not to allow the lawmaker from Lagos to stand for the speakership election, having been allegedly convicted for fraud to the tune of 25,000 US dollars, in which he allegedly failed to disburse to his then client in 2003 <laughs> in the United States, where he was practicing as a lawyer. The plaintiff in the matter, Philippe Undi, uh, joined alongside the Jamia Mila House of Representatives, Attorney General of the Federation, and the All Progressives Congress APC as defendants in the suit. The plaintiff is also praying the court for an order of injunction restraining the House of Representatives and APC from accepting the nomination of Mr. Bajabi Amila as an aspirant for the office of the Speaker of the House of Representatives. The suit filed by Mr. Ayodele uh, Justice on behalf of the plaintiff is, however, yet to be assigned to any judge. Meanwhile, Mr. Bajami Amila has been touring some parts of the country, seeking support of governors and lobbying politicians for their support in becoming the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Mr. Femi Bajami Amila, in company of many of his colleagues, visited the governor of River State in Yinsomwike in continuation of his drive to becoming the next Speaker of the Ninth National Assembly. The host, Governor, who described the lawmaker as a man of capacity, explained that there is need for political leaders to go beyond party lines to forge a united front for the development of the country. Governor Wiki urged the, uh, the, uh, Mr. Gwajabia Mela to pursue laws and policies that will be uh, for the general good of Nigerians if eventually elected by his colleagues. <laughs> 